الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد This is one of the numerous videos I've made about protests and the ruling of protests in Islam Now protests in definition, what are they? A gathering of people in a public place to ask what they think that is rightfully theirs to ask for their rights or to change a wrongdoing uh, Protests in Islam, people think that the scholars haven't given fatwas on it and get, haven't given a ruling on it and didn't consider it or don't even know it the answer is of course they do and they've given many many fatwas on this as a matter of fact you know this it took place in many uh, times uh, in Islamic countries non-Islamic countries and so the scholars have given fatwas on this one of the mashayikh the shiuch uh, Sheikh Suleiman al-Rahili he said that I came across 40 scholars giving a fatwa on protests and demonstrations what is the fatwa? all of them agree that it is impermissible haram to do protest by means or use protest as a mean to ask what's rightfully yours or for to change your wrongdoing why number one there are harmful haram things that are stuck with the nature of protests and demonstrations free mixing that's number one saying vulgar bad things uh, obscene things, sometimes kufr things, vandalism. Uh, people sometimes they say, oh, it's peaceful. We intend to do a peaceful protest. And in many cases, this is not, the, this is not true. It starts with, with peaceful uh, you know, marching or demonstration protests, and then it evolves into something else. And the recent incidents that ha incident that happened, in, in the, I think it was in the U.S., where they protested against... Um, you know, the rainbow flag and the LGBT and all that, they, they were protesting and they were fighting. Their punching was there, you know, it got physical. Not only that, we saw kids, kids going to protest. This is very dangerous. How is that halal? Kids and women, all of them together, mixing, and all this is impermissible, of course. So that's why the ulama said these impermissible things are stuck with protest. And that is why protesting is haram. As a matter of fact, some of the ulama, they said, this is imitating the disbelievers. And we're not allowed to imitate the disbelievers. How? Where did protest come from? Did it come from good things? Did it come from a, a sound ideology that Islam agrees with? From the time of the Prophet, وسلم, until today, we haven't seen Muslims, like scholars and pious people, and prominent figures of Islam doing protests. Never. Not the Prophet, not the companions, not the people who came after them. And as a matter of fact, they have experienced oppression and, and transgression. And they also wanted their rights and they, and they demanded their rights. But never did they thought of doing a protest. As, but the, the, the protesting idea or the tool for it was there. The Prophet could have went and did a protest in Mecca when they kicked him out or they tried to kill him. And so, But he didn't. He never thought of it. It means this is something that we have to even be mindful about. The best of people who was also oppressed and asked for his rights, but he didn't do, he didn't uh, use protests for that. Where did it come from? From liberalism and free speech and democracy and all this. Yeah, of course, we Muslims, we don't agree with. Yeah? So it is a tool branched from a false ideology, which is liberalism. And so... They're liberals, they say that. We have the freedom to express whatever we want, uh, or however we want. And one of their tools is uh, protests and demonstrations. And that's why we see that the rise of protests and demonstrations were actually from the West. This is where, of course, liberal, uh, liberalism uh, w was born. And of course then, because as you know, uh, we get, we, you know, a lot of things in the West come to us and we start imitating them, whether we know it or we don't know it, directly or indirectly. But this is how today Muslims in this century or in this decade, they started imitating this. And they think this is halal. As a matter of fact, some of the people think that this is an Islamic way to ask for, for, uh, for rights. This is false. This is not true. I know you've seen maybe some figures, some uh, so-called scholars who come up and say, oh, this is halal and this is permissible. These are not scholars, sorry to say, and you don't disrespect, but these are not scholars. I'm talking about real scholars. I'm talking about authentic uh, Rabbaniyin scholars, you know. Sheikh, like, the, uh, like uh, Sheikh Ben Baz, 
شيخ الالباني، شيخ ابن عثيمين، ومقبل الوادعي، شيخ الفوزان، شيخ عبد المحسن العباد، شيخ عبد العزيز ال الشيخ، شيخ صالح ال الشيخ. The list goes on and on. These all of them agree that protests are haram. They don't care about your emotions. They care about what is right and what is wrong. طيب فارس, we want to ask for our rights. No problem. Ask for your rights in permissible ways. Right to complain, uh, do something that's beneficial. But protests, they're not beneficial. And reality told us this. Look at the Arab Spring. Did you guys forget about that? Arab Spring started with a protest. A peaceful protest. And look where it ended up. Countries destroyed. People lost lives. Hundreds of thousands. Or maybe even millions. I don't know. I lost count of the, of the body count. May Allah have mercy on the Muslims. And so, the protest, we've tried it. It's been tried before. Many, many times. Number one, it's not going to get you what you want. Number two, okay, it's not going to get you what you want. Now the people who went on a protest because of the schools and all that, and, they start, and it got physical in America when it happened. What's going to happen? You think, يعني, خلاص, the problem is solved? They solved the solution? No, they didn't. They just expressed their anger in a way that was wasteful and haram, and they went back home. That's it. Rather, go and seek permissible means. Write a complaint. Gather together the families, gather together and write a complaint and raise it to the authorities. Fine, they're not going to listen. Then if you go and seek permissible means and it doesn't work, what do you want to do? Go to seek impermissible means? The answer is no. Have sabr. Ever, ever heard about that? You know, sabr is obligatory. To just have patience sometimes. Sometimes just things don't go our way in our lives. It doesn't work like that. Like, for example, if I'm poor and I'm working, but my work, my halal way of getting money is not working very well. Does that, make, does that make it permissible for me to steal? No, the answer is no. This is haram and this is halal. This is how truth works. This is how following the truth works, right? Go against our desires. And so a Muslim, Muslim have to be mindful of that. Don't follow things just because of your emotions. No, follow it because it's halal. This is haram and this is halal. This is how we, we, we take life and this is how we understand life, yeah? Anyways, may Allah guide us all and may Allah may keep us firm on this religion. Hada wallahu alam, wa sallillahumma ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.